Let's write the net ionic equation for nickel carbonate plus hydroiodic acid. So the first thing we need to do with these net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. So to do that, it looks like all we need to do is put a 2 in front of the HI. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. That looks like this. So most carbonates are insoluble. So nickel carbonate is insoluble. Some things in group one, like sodium carbonate, potassium carbonate, they're exceptions, but most carbonates insoluble. So we write solid. HI, that's a strong acid. So that's going to be aqueous, iodides in general, soluble, carbon dioxide is a gas, and then water is a liquid. So those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. And we don't split solids apart. That looks like this. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the equation. They haven't changed. In the reactants, I have these two iodide ions. I also have those in the products, spectator ions. We get rid of them. But everything else is unique. So this is the net ionic equation for NiCO3 plus HI. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation. Again, we didn't split solids, gases, or liquids apart. If you look at the charge on both sides, we have a 2 times 1 plus. So in the reactants, we have a 2 plus. And in the products, we have the 2 plus here. So charge is balanced. And if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NiCO3 plus HI. Thanks for watching.